Welcome to the Invincible CEO Manifestation Playground YouTube channel. Why are we here? Because manifestation is simple, easy, and fun. My name is Didi Pavernik, and I am the Invincible CEO, and I'm here to guide you through this beautiful playground. What do we want to do today? Do we want to go down the slide? Do we want to go on the swings? What do we want to do? Play on the jungle gym? There's so much fun in manifestation. When does manifestation not become fun? When you're too much in your head, when you come out of the now moment. We just completed a 30 video series, deep dive in the now. Why isn't your manifestation working? You're not deep enough in the now moment. And today's video is all about dun, 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 that dreaded 3P, that third person. But I'm going to give a spin on third person today like it's never, ever been said in the manifestation community before. Makes you wonder why all the other teachers didn't see what really is going on for you and how by bringing in a third person, your subconscious mind is gone, wake up, wake up. Whether the third person's in a love relationship, whether the third person is that person at work that's your competition or your believed competition for a job, whether that third person is that annoying partner that you have or spouse whatever you want to call it, whatever term you want to give it. Now, this video was inspired by one of our viewers. She made a comment on our Friday dream incubation video. And I'm going to read that comment to you a little bit later in the video. And we're really going to just break this apart and blow it up so that after this video, third person, 3P, your own mind, because your own mind is your third person, we're going to break it all down. You want to get out of paper and pen. Now, the big theme here today is, are you looking at reality or are you looking as reality? Let's just do a perspective recap. When you are in third person in your own story, you're looking at reality. When you are in first person in your own story, you're, you're interacting as reality. And we have said in the now moment, no story is needed, meaning no thought, no words are needed because what's happening is what's happening and it's very obvious. But I'm going to give the example here. When you come and you are watching my videos, and I thank you so much for watching my videos. If you haven't liked or subscribed, do so now. And watching these videos, is a third person perspective. So right now I'm recording the video as the first person. I'm, I am the story. This is the story. You are third person. You're watching the story. Now, later on, I will go back and watch this video as it debuts on the channel. I always do that. I'm always watching along with you when it first debuts. And then I will no longer be in first person perspective because I'm no longer recording it. I'm now watching it. I'm looking at it now, right in this moment, I'm as it, I am the story. Say with me, I am the story. You are the story. Okay. So a little side note, I'm going to make an offer to you right now before we get into the meat and potatoes of today. On May 18th and 19th, I have a two-day event. And that whole two-day event is meant to take you out of third person and into first person. It's called jump off into your wish fulfilled. I know that you've been watching reality and as the observer, that can be a very wonderful thing. But if you never come into the story itself, if you never go in and look through the eyes of the version that you want to be, you're always gonna be looking as the eyes of the person waiting for it to happen. If you are tired of waiting for things to happen, if you are tired of feeling stuck and frustrated in the messy middle, this two day event is for you. And asking it is given, I have had so much feedback that said, Didi, I would love to be at your two-day event, but the price. So here's, here's how much I believe in you. Here's how much I believe in what I'm offering. I'm taking the price down. The price was $220. i am taking it down to a $100, $100 US dollars, because I believe 100% that this will 100% change your manifestation game and change your life. Because in this, in this two-day event, we are going to create a defined starting line. You don't have a defined, if you're stuck in the messy middle, you don't have a defined starting line. 
we are then going to have a very defined finish line, wish fulfilled. Why are you stuck in the middle? Because as you are making progress, if you don't have a defined starting line, you don't know what to compare it to. So you don't think things are changing. Once we have the starting line and the finish line, all that's left is what is the middle? What is the unfolding? And I'm going to give you the secret sauce to the unfolding. We're going to take you deeper in the now. I'm going to give you all the things to do in a personalized roadmap for yourself because you're going to create it. You're going to come out. You're no longer going to be watching videos. You are going to come into our private group and you are going to interact on Zoom with me. We're taking you out of third person. No longer will you just be watching videos because the you that's watching videos right now is being fulfilled. That's all that version of you ever does is watch video after video after video in the third person perspective. And you take in all the knowledge, but you don't go in into the first person perspective and start having the experience. If you were in third person, you can complain about it. You can track it. You can chart it. There's nothing wrong with third person, but third person perspective doesn't manifest reality. Third person perspective doesn't get the wish fulfilled of the grander wish fulfilled. And it hides the fact that you're getting the wish fulfilled of just watching videos. And as much as I would love for you to come back to all infinity to watch my videos, I want to see you win, win big, win all the time, get across your finish line. So congratulations. If watching videos was your finish line, you're killing it. You are killing it. I'm so excited for you. But if you are ready to stop watching the videos and go into first person perspective, then join my two day event. I then take the hundred dollars and reinvest it back into you in whatever in the Invincible CEO universe playground that you would like to play. So it is a win-win situation. And share this with everyone. Bring your friends in, share with your manifestation groups because this will be mind blowing. And not only will you get the, the two day event, but you'll get all the recordings so that you can go back over and over again. You'll get a nurture group so that you can be there with those individuals over and over again. That was a lot. So I want to take you out of third person perspective. I want to put you into the experience of your own life. And the version of you that just needs one more video never moves. And here's the other thing. One last thing I want to say on this. You might say to me, well, Didi, why do I need three months? If manifestation is instant, why do I need three months? You need time and space for the unfolding. So I want you to think about this now. How long have you been watching videos? Has it been more than three months? Where were you on February 7th? Because this is being recorded on May, May 7th. Where were you? Are you any closer to your wish fulfilled now than February 7th? Because you know I crossed my finish line May 4th of being totally monetized that I decided back on December 4th. And you don't want to be sitting here on August 7th, day before my birthday, by the way. You don't want to be sitting here on August 7th going, I wish I would have done that event back in May. Because we're going to give it three months to unfold, but it's not going to have to take that long. And you're going to have guidance along the way. Okay. And I want you to put, I'm all in. I'm all in. Put it in the comment section. You're all in. I can't wait to see you there. So this was a comment by a wonderful viewer on Friday's video, Incubate the Dream, Manifest with Ease, How to Use Dream Incubation to Live the Intentional Dream and Manifest Quickly into Your Daytime Dream. And this individual was asking about a 3P. Here's our comment from our wonderful viewer. I tried last night and wrote something down about my SP and I'm in a loving, fulfilling relationship. So it sounds like she's starting to do a starting line there. Since a year ago when he left, the only dreams I've had involving him had 3P in them, that third person. If you don't know what 3P, if you're new here, 3P means third person, th meaning a third, an actual third person. And I feel it very hard emotionally in the dream. It's been extremely clear to me this past week that I've been in the Sabbath state. We're going to talk about that. Later in the night, I had a very long, vivid dream and SP was there. And lo and behold, who was there? The 3P the third person. I haven't had much of a thought or care in the world about her and really feel like I'm actually in the relationship that I desire with him. It's just been like it, it is my life when I affirm or visualize. So short story long, do you maybe know why I might be still having these unfavorable dreams? Is this just old stuff in my subconscious that I don't need to worry about or analyze? And input would be very much appreciated. So let's unpack this.
Let's unpack this. Oh, I'm loving this. If you haven't watched our Friday dream incubation video, I will pop it up here and pop it down there. And oh, by the way, all the links are in the description box below. All the fun playground links, all the fun links for anything that we're offering that's very, very exciting right now are in the description box below. Okay. So in our dream incubation video, we said that all we do is move from dream to dream to dream. And when you dream at night, you close your consciousness down, all your five senses, you don't see it, taste it, touch it, hear it, smell it anymore. And you withdraw out of this character and you go into the dream state. And sometimes in your dream state, you're the still the same you. And sometimes you could be a whole different character. But when we're in the dream, we accept the dream to be true. Now, if we take our wonderful viewer and we say, okay, think about this. To you, the dreamer, that was just a dream. We have a technique here on, on the channel called that was just a dream. That was just a dream. So that when you wake up in the morning and you open your eyes back in this dream, because it's a daytime dream, that was a nighttime dream. But to that you, it was a daytime dream, but it's only a nighttime dream to you here. So when you're in the dream, it's first person perspective, 1P. But when you wake up the next morning, you're now in 3P, you're in the third person perspective to the dream because you're not in it anymore. You're thinking about it. You're thinking of it. You're not living it. So I want you to, to realize during your day today, how much are you actually in your dream, actively experiencing, and how much are you thinking about things? Because if you're in thinking mode, you're not in the now. And the only place that your manifestation can show up is the now. That's it. It can't show up in thought because, well, if it did, it would have already done it, right? Because you've been thinking a lot about it. If thought were to get you your manifestation, it would be here. So that shows you right now in real time that thought will not get you where you want to go. Beautiful series, deep dive into the now, 30 videos on the channel. I'm turning it into its own course because those videos get interrupted now by commercials, but the course does not. Just wanted to throw that out there. Okay, so now when you're, able to recall your dream, you're in third person, you are 3P. When you're in the dream, you are first person, you are the main character. Nothing wrong with the perspectives, they're just two different perspectives. Say it with me, just two different perspectives. And immediately when our viewer wakes up, it all disappears. Do you need to give any other perspective to it? Do you need to give any other information do you need to analyze it nope because if if it was if it was that important and if it was real the moment you opened your eyes those two people would be right here in front of you but they're not that's what time and space is for that's just an offering and it has enough energy and momentum to show up as a dream and for you to recall it but the moment that you woke up both the partner and the third person poof, disappear, not here. And I want you to look around right now what's right in front of you. There's most likely it's calm and peaceful. That's what the, that's what the, I told you the now is so boring. It's so boring most of the time because what's happening is just boring. And the thinking mind cannot handle that boredom. It has to put stuff in. It has to create drama and stories. And it can create comedy and, and happy stories too. But it's what is what is the mode that you're in? What, what state of being are you in? If you're not feeling worthy, it's not going to create comedy as an enjoyment for you because that doesn't feel good, right? Not feeling worthy. You're just playing out a state of being. So if the third person and the actual partner disappear the moment that you woke up in the, the 3D, what we're trying to do now is to wake you up while you're already awake. Your eyes are open, so you think you're awake. But if our dear viewer is thinking about the partner and thinking about the third person, you're just creating another dream within the daytime dream. They're not here in front of you. What's in front of you? What's in front of you right now? And if you're safe in your own imagination and you could imagine anything right now, and that version of you is imagining your partner. I didn't say potential partner. I said your partner. Why would you bring in another person unless 
you wanted that story to play out. You wanted to know what it would be like to compete for his or her attention. You could do that. You're, you're the opera in power. You could put whatever story you want in there. And how you stop doing that is you come out of third person perspective. You stop looking at reality, even the reality that's not physically in front of you. Because if you're thinking about the two of them, who's the star of the story? Who's the main character? Are you the main character or is the partner the main character and the third person the third person? Because when you're the star of your story and you start to write your story down, that's why scripting is a powerful thing. Is that the story that you would script for yourself? So when these thoughts come in, they're just auditioning. They're not you. When these dreams come in, dreams are just a different version of thought or echo. It's an echo because what's happening is not an echo. It doesn't need to echo. It's the story. It's right in front of you. That's it. That's it. It's right in front of you. It doesn't need a story. When birds are chirp chirping, you don't have to say birds are chirping. So my response to our wonderful viewer was this. There's a lot to unpack here. That's quite a story. Let it go. You are still giving more importance to the SP and the 3P than you because you're looking at reality. You need to be the star of your story. If you were, you would not be telling me this. So think about this, folks. When you are the star of your story, let's just say, let's all make a decision right here, right now. We're all going to write a book. We're all going to write a book, the story of us. And we're not writing about the past because we just got here, right? We're going to take those three deep breaths that we did in our 30-day series, Deep Dive in the Now. And then after we do the three deep breaths, we're going to pick up a pen and paper. We're going to pick up a pen and we're going to start writing the story, not how it is in, in the old reality, because what's just happening is boring right now. So if we're going to put a story over top of what's happening, what say you? Who do you say you are? And when you make the story all about you, well, then you don't have to worry about characters coming in that you didn't that you don't think you put there, but you really are because you're the one noticing. Who's the one noticing? If you're noticing a third person, you can only notice a third person because you put them there. Otherwise, they would just kind of like walk by. And they would have no part of the story. Their, their only part of the story was they walked by. So you might say, well, Didi, how would the story sound then, right? Give, give, me, give me some practical tactile examples. Well, if I were telling this story, and this is how I tell my story anyway, everybody loves me. Everybody loves, they love what I offer. They can't get enough of it. They love all my videos. They love all my programs. They love my one-day events. They love my two-day events. Two-day events are jumping into these events. Wonderful story. My partner, I call my partner the Powerball of Partners. However, before he came in, do you know who the Powerball of Partners was for me? Me. See, I realized that when I left my last relationship, when I got divorced, that I had to become the partner for myself of what I was expecting for someone else. Because the moment that I became it for myself, I didn't need the other person to be that for me. And when I'm already loving and kind and in a beautiful relationship with me, I'm very aware of any other type of storyline that's coming in that says that's not happening or that's not true. And when my partner comes in, we don't complete each other. We are already complete prior to our interactions. I'm always in love with me. I'm always dating me first. And there's nothing that I can't fulfill for myself that I would need someone out there to do for me. It doesn't mean that things aren't done for me, but I gave them to myself first. So if I want surprises, if I want my partner to surprise me, I go into my imagination. First, I surprise me. I'll create little scenarios that where I surprise myself. 
And then I'll create scenarios where my world surprises me. And I'll create scenarios where my partner surprises me. And I'll create scenarios where my children surprise me. And I'll create scenarios where my viewers surprise me and my clients surprise me and my two day event guests surprise me. That way there's so much surprising going on that I'm not putting the focus on my partner and making him the be all end all to surprises. So let me tell you now, here's my spin on a third person showing up in your reality, whether it's in a nighttime dream or it's in a daytime dream, the living out, the active living out, the living as reality. Whether it's a romantic relationship, whether it's a business partner relationship, whether it's a uh, co-worker relationship, it doesn't matter what the 3P, how it shows up, what the theme is. Your subconscious mind that's already impressed, that doesn't need to be impressed, is reminding you, you, the conscious version of you, have to be impressed, not the subconscious mind, because you already chose what you've chosen, you've chosen. And now as you are choosing differently, your subconscious mind goes, comes in and goes, but I thought you wanted this. So if a third person shows up in your physical reality, you're spending too much time in the third person perspective. You're looking at reality and your subconscious is doing everything it can to say to you, you need to go in and experience as reality. Go back in and become the star of your show. How do you do that? You have a defined starting line. You see how we came full circle there. This two day event, you will walk away with a formula. We're gonna do it with one topic. But once you got this formula, then you can do it for all topics in your life. But really, you only have to do it for one. When you become the star in one of your topics, it spills over into all of your themes, all of your storylines. You don't have to do it for being a parent and then have to do it for being an employee and then having to do it for being a friend. No, you pick one. You pick one that's so enjoyable and we really blow up the story. You create, you jump off into your wish fulfilled. You jump off from being third person because you're, if there's a third person in your reality, you're your own third person. You're not living as reality. You're looking at reality. So if I went and ran yesterday and I ran a 5K and today I'm telling you what kind of run I had, I'm in third person perspective. I'm not actually doing it. While I'm actually doing it, I don't have to share the story that I'm actually doing it. You can see me running in the third person perspective. I'm first person, I'm the one running, you're the one watching me. But yet simultaneously, when I am running, I'm actually doing it, but I can see myself running as I'm running, but I can't see it in three, the whole 3D. I can only see it from the first person perspective of what's in front of me so I don't run into a tree. All 3P is, friends, is that you are in a supporting role of, in your story and supporting roles are allowed. I, I support a lot of people, I'm supporting you right now, but yet I'm knowing that I'm actively in first person. And when a third person shows up, regardless of what the theme is, regardless if it's romantic, if it's business, if it's a family relationship, it doesn't matter. Whoever you feel like you're in competition with, right? Because that's what a third person is showing you that you're in competition mode and that there's a chance that you won't win. Your subconscious that's already activated, already impressed, is smacking you upside the head because you're the one in this current character that's not impressed. Your conscious character is not impressed with the wish fulfilled. Your subconscious was even before you asked for it. It already offered it to you. Before you say, I am in a loving relationship, you were already in the loving relationship before you even uttered those words. I was a mom long before I ever got pregnant because I had been momming for a really long time. So whatever it is that you're declaring, that you're claiming, we are going to not only describe it, we're, we're going to claim it in this two-day event. I can't say enough for you. So enough with all the groups on all the social medias. Enough with watching video after video. The reason why your manifestations are not happening 
is because you're not deep enough in the now and you're letting stories come in to tell you you don't have what it is that you've declared. That's it. Plain and simple. That's why manifestation is simple, easy, and fun. So the next time a 3P shows up or you feel you need to compete, and I will tell you this, I have never competed with anyone else in this YouTube space because you know why? They're not showing up like I do. They're not showing up first person. And when I'm doing these videos, oh, can you feel my conviction? I know it's never been said this way before. And I know that those of you who need to hear it will know that. It's not about the story. You and only you are the story and your story needs no words. What, what needs to happen is for you to become deeper in the now so that there's no doubt in your mind can, could even even come in. Fear can't come in right now. And when I tell you what I know I'm going to deliver, what I am delivering, this is it, folks. You've been waiting for this moment. You want to know manifestation? You want to experience your manifestation like you've never done before? I've given it all I've gotten here today. If there's a 3P in your dreams or in your life, you put them there because you've become a 3P in your own life. You're not the star anymore. And how do we do this? How do we fix it? Right now, you're the star. And three months from now, three months from our May 18th and 19th, by the middle of August, you won't even recognize who you are or how amazing your life is because now, once you have that defined starting line and that defined finish line, which I call the jump off and the wish fulfilled, and then all that you need to focus on in the in-between, because you can't get it wrong, but you can make it long. And we're trying to shorten, we're shortening that for you, is to have so much fun in the unfolding because you're the star of the show. It is what you say it is, just because. So, just because. Why do I want you in this two-day event? Because I know it will change your life. Are you ready? You've been saying, you've been, you've been waiting, you've been asking for the teacher, you've been asking for the guide, you've been asking for the thing. Are you ready to come out of watching these videos and interact with me in first person in this group? There you go, my friends. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for liking and subscribing and sharing the channel. We will be going live this Wednesday on YouTube at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I've also put up a video to vote on for Friday's community chosen video. So if you haven't gone into our community tab, there's a lot of great things in there for you to see. The link is also there to sign up for the event. It's also in the description box. Thank you so much for your time and attention. I truly do love you deeply from the bottom of my heart. I'm like that big sister that just wants to go smack, 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 get it, snap out of it. Come on, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's, let's do this. I want to do this with you. <sighs> so if you're liking what we're talking about here, I'm going to put up top here the playlist for our 30 day deep dive into the now series. And I will be sharing the first workbook. If give you a little sneak peek of what's coming in that digital product, but that series will take you deeper into the now. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you deeply. And until I see you again, happy manifesting and enjoy.